What's up beautiful people? This is Mike from My Gadgets Well and I hope you all are having an amazing day. Today's video I'm going to show you how to wall mount the Neo QLED QN90A 65 inch. This is the mini LED TV and I have the other videos link in the description. Go check this out. But if you want the wall mounting like this that I have done myself, you can literally do it too because I'm no professional. But if you can get this clean installation, you don't have to pay $100 to $150. For the wall mounting so i'm gonna get you that money saving and also show you what products do you need to complete your wall mounting and also all the products links gonna be in the description so before any delay let's just begin okay so we have the starburst ultra slim tilting tv wall mounting system that i picked up from best buy it can hold up to 77 pounds and when we are looking at the samsung neo q and 90a 65 inch it weighs around 54 pounds so it will be sufficient enough for that tv to be on this safe and sound okay so this wall mounting systems come with the two arms that goes behind the tv there's a wall plate and there are some screws and pricing wise this wall mount will cost you 109 dollars 99 cents if you get it from starburst website and they have been business for over 30 years but you don't want to get it from there get it from costco where are you going to save money? You're going to get it for $60. So $59.99 if you are the Costco member, they are running this limited uh, time offer. You can grab it for just $60. And if you don't have Costco membership, I'll include another link in the description which will save you money as well and you can get the similar mounting system. Okay, so this is the wall plate that goes on the wall. It has a lot of holes depending on where your studs gonna be. So I'm gonna show you all of that. But first we are looking at this wall plate which is really sturdy, heavy built and it comes with the level which you saw that green part in the middle. And these are the arms that go at the back of the TV and the string that you see, there's a wire. You actually pull that and that will release the tilt. And this tilt is only um, one type tilt it's not gonna have uh, different uh, tilting variations it's just gonna be one type tilt you lose that latch it's gonna tilt forward about one and a half inch and that's all okay so we need the default of course the drill machine you need you have this uh, uh, stud finder the AC cables running behind the wall so you gotta make sure that you have this stunt finder with you so you can find the stud or any electric wires behind your drywall this is the level that i use to make sure that my wall mount is straight okay and the thing is i i've showed you guys my living room and the lg oled g1 mounted in my living room and i have done that wall mounting by myself with my friend's help and i'm going to wall mount the qn 98 right behind that wall you can see there's nothing right now this is our master bedroom and the TV is literally going to be just behind the wall that I have G1 mounted. So this is the situation right here. I have the electric uh, stuff at the bottom and you can see those outlet right above that. I got this AC uh, showing that, okay, there are cables. So you don't want to drill into that. Then I'm trying to find where the studs going to be. So for everyone is going to be different situation. This is the drywall and I have only one stud that is behind the drywall and the other studs are little off so I'll have to use a uh, different type of uh, tools to make sure that it stays on the wall so I'm gonna get this pull toggle which is always with me somewhere in the garage and I pull them out and use them to wall mount it can hold up to 155 pounds I'm talking about just one I'm gonna use six of them because this is going to be going in the drywall and these are pull toggles so they go in the wall and you just pull them and secure this is stand right there i'm not using a 16 pounds heavy right so we're not going to use that at all but this tv right here 54 pounds we're going to attach the arms at the back of it and if you're wondering what screws is going to use it uses the m6 screws which come with the wall mounting system so you don't have to worry about it just make sure you have to align because the height is going to be dependent on how you place these arms at the back of the TV so that I leave it to you guys because you're gonna have to decide how uh, high you want your TV to be so you have to measure your uh, specific need how high you want the TV to be so from these arms and all the way to the bottom you have to see how high it's gonna be when you place the TV on the wall mount on the wall plate finally so this is where I want it to be I did my measurements 
and all of these screws you can see these came with the wall mounting system so i don't have to worry about which screw you can try any of these if you're not sure about which screw is gonna go but i can tell you it was the m6 and it comes with the washer so if you have the gap between the screw and the arm you don't want to leave that gap make sure to align your wall plate on the wall and make your adjustments make your measurements so i'm marking right now where the stud is actually so i have stud only on two screws the other screws i'm going to use my pull toggle uh, secure uh, tools that i showed you guys earlier uh, sometimes i keep forgetting the name of those pull toggles but you know what i'm talking about those pull toggles those are not just the anchors they are total mechanism with the metal and all you can see right here this goes in your drywall and then you pull it out and it's just super heavy it can hold up to 155 pounds for a reason so i just love using them in my lg oled g1 wall mounting in the living room i'm actually using all of them because i did not have the stud on 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 all of those screws so i had only stud on two screws so right now i'm making these holes for these pull toggles and six of them i'm using so i'm gonna have to pull them um like this and you just wiggle it around and you can just break them so six six of the pull toggles i'm using and then two screws gonna be on the stud to make sure that it's really sturdy and uh, secure placement for the wall mount and there you go neat and nice okay so now i have the six holes and with the pull toggles and this is where i'm gonna have to drill for the uh, stud uh, on the stud mounting so total eight screws i'm using four on the right four on the left and here we go we have the straight placed uh, wall plate right there on the wall and after this i had to pick up the tv i couldn't record that but you have to just get the help of someone to pick it up because it's a two man's job I was about to drop the TV but finally the TV is here because once you have the arms placed on the back of the TV all you have to do is just pick it up and place it on the wall plate and this slim profile uh, wall mounting type I really like it it still have a gap at the back because if you see the Samsung QN90A uh, the QN90A mini LED TV it is curved from the back so it, if it is curved from the back and it's narrow from the corners so you're gonna have this curve on the on the sides but in the back, it is almost like touching the wall. So I really like this type of wall mounting. And you can see one problem with this is that you do not have good access to the back ports. And I'm using this slim wall mounting because it's gonna be in my bedroom. So I'm not gonna be using HDMI ports all the time or connecting it to something. So all of the stuff you have to place it first, right? And then when you're done with the wall mounting, you're gonna have one thing, these wires and cablings like dangling around. So what you have to do is you have to get something because see, it doesn't look good at all. The TV is mounted, that looks pretty nice, but the cable dangling around, that's not gonna be good thing, right? So what I'm doing for this to mitigate it, I have the concealment, the cable concealment that I got from Amazon. I'll put the link. In the description and uh, you can buy those and i'll show you guys how i placed it and it looked amazing and right now i'm just showing you how it looked right after i wall mounted but you should check the tv first whether it has power or not i just wall mounted and then check the power later on so this is something that you learn by experience so first check the tv it is powering on or not and then wall mount it okay in my case everything went smooth but uh, it can go wrong you know in some cases but here we are this is the sticky it has the 3m glue at the back you place it on the wall and it has a cover on the top and you hide the wires behind those covers and it looks amazing so this is all i have today guys i hope this video helped you out leave this video a like and subscribe to the channel because that's going to help me a lot and check out more videos up here somewhere it must be showing up in the suggested videos so thank you so much for stopping by today guys really appreciate you guys watching my videos and i'll see you guys in another one and until then peace out